Hi everybody, welcome back to Isodet DWF Repair Bench. And after one 1571, we have another one. I hope it's uh, not uh, broken like a uh, bad head like the other one. The first symptom of this one is uh, probably CPU not resetting. The green LED never goes off and the motor runs forever. I check it the reset and pin 40. 39 the clock is okay and uh, 37 and 3 the output of the clocks um, pin 4 pin 7 uh, there's no stuck higher Q or NMI substituted the ROM because I had the other one from the previous uh, 1571 and that's not the ROM so I'm going to have a look at the data and address of uh, the 6502 bus. The problem that we see is address line A15 from the 6502 has uh, not uh, either 0 or full uh, 5 volts uh, level. So there must be a problem there. With the logic probe I go on uh, the pin 25 which is A15, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 but as I touch it there's no change in the uh, light uh, output of the probe. It means basically that the CPU is not driving the spin and probably is interrupted inside the CPU. This is a data data which is flashing so probably there's something going on on the data bus. Uh, this is a 15 which is stuck uh, but it's more or less floating and this is a uh, as you can see the light changes this is a14 which is stuck high a13 light changes again stuck high and another address this is a ground connection so it goes off so this is again a15 and but it seems I have to change the 6502. Okay, I added the socket, removed the old 6502, put in place another one, and just uh, put together but not uh, assembling everything. Well, let's see, powering on. So now it resets looks like it's working and believe it or not this one is my first 6502 that I found uh, not working even in the 80s I didn't remember and I didn't have any other 6502 in my broken most technology chip collection well it happens uh, now I connect uh, 60, C64 and see if this drive is starting to work. Well, it looks like uh, I can start to put this together. At least it's reading very well in 1541 mode. Now I will try to write uh, format disk in 1571 mode. So I have some information that I didn't record in the original uh, videos. Uh, this is how the common how to put the 1571 in uh, double side mode uh, to use the double side uh, format when you don't have a Commodore 128. So U0 uh, greeted done symbol M1. 
And after you, uh, this common if you issue a new zero, which is a format, of course I've chosen 71 and 70, 71 label, 71 ID, but you can use anything you want. Uh, any, of course, any uh, label, any ID. Uh, so this uh, new zero after this command uh, creates a double side uh, uh, disk. And that's that's how you do when uh, you don't have a, a Condor 128. So this 7, uh, 1571 looks like uh, it's working fine by now, just by changing the CPU. So thank you for watching.